that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. He made the day. And not only did he make the day, but he spared us to see it. And since we are alive, since we are here, since we've been kept, since we've been blessed, since we've made our way to Mr. Potter's house, has anyone come with a praise? Can I just hear you? Oh, no, 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 no. I said, is there a one, praise one. in this room today? I'm asking if, if, if you've gathered for any other reason but to praise him. Can somebody just take the next 30 seconds last seven. and let's offer a praise to our God right now, right now, right now. Two. Father, we thank four, you. Father, one. we bless you. Father, we lift your name high. We esteem you greatly. We speak well of your name. Last we seven. remember your benefits. And we're moved to praise. Two. We're moved to bless four, your name. Come on, somebody. Just open your six, mouth. Clap your hands. Five, one. Wave them in his presence. Hallelujah, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. You're worthy. Hey, no, no. You're worthy. You're worthy. You deserve our praise. You deserve our worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, we come to you today. We're humbled by the privilege to be in your presence. Yet while we're humble today, we've come boldly before your throne expecting you to do something in this service in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for calling us from the east, the south, the north, and the west, oh God, from every corner of this world. You've called us here to this moment and to this time and to this place. And we know you've called us because you want to do something incredible in our lives, oh God. I thank you for those who are tuning in from around the world. And Father, they haven't tuned in to see us, hallelujah. They haven't tuned in to see us sing. They haven't tuned in to see us dance, but they've come for an encounter with you, oh God. And we thank you, oh God, that we're not creating an encounter today. We don't have to conjure one up. We don't have to make something happen. We are joining today with heaven, which is already worshiping, hallelujah. We join today with heaven, which is 24-7. The elders are crying holy, holy one to another. We don't have to create an experience. We join an experience with the angels today, and we come to lift our hands. We've come to lift our voices. We've come to offer a praise. Now, Father, we understand that there are those that are coming today who have needs before you. But we thank you that you are Jehovah God. And there is absolutely no need in this room or in the rooms of those watching around the world that you can't meet. There's absolutely nothing that you can't do except fail. (laughs) We thank you that you can't fail. We thank you that you can't lie. (laughs) We thank you that you can't change. Hallelujah. You're the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. So, Father, meet that need in this room. Heal that body in the name of Jesus. Open that blinded eye. Unstop that deaf ear. Allow somebody to believe again. Allow somebody to trust again. Allow somebody yeah. to have faith again. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And we will give you praise. We will give you praise. We will give you praise. It is our honor to give you worship. In Jesus' name. Somebody take the roof off with your praise. Hallelujah.
wonder if I got a praiser in the house today. Let's roll. Hallelujah. But we want you to join us this morning. We want you to bless the name of the Lord this morning. Clap your hands. Come on.
your circumstances now is the time to tell your circumstances you will not define me for the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever the Lord is kind and I choose to worship him I choose to lift him I choose to give him glory somebody bless his name lift him higher hands extended towards heaven Worship is informed today. We choose to worship from a clear and pure place. It's our actual intention to bless his name so that the world comes to know him as Lord and Savior. He is King of Kings, He's Lord of Lords. And is it okay? Just, just take a point of personal possession. He's, he's my God. <laughs> he's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's my friend. And although he did it for the whole world, he died especially for me. Hallelujah. He had me on his mind when he came and gave himself I do worship you, God. I want to be found worshiping you. I want to be caught worshiping you. I want to be, if I'm brought up on charges, I want them to be able to testify that, yes, he's, that he's guilty of giving High God those. his worship. Hallelujah. I'm guilty of giving God my whole self. Hallelujah. He deserves it. Hallelujah. Come on, lift those hands. Lift those hands, I am. As a corporate body, we worship him together. Come on, let's lift it together, everybody. Song says, I do worship. Come on, sing it. the church. I do worship you. 
Come on, get this in your mind while we worship. For your goodness. For your goodness and your glory. For the joy. Come on. For, for the, the joy inside of life. I do, I do. I do worship you. Worship you. Come on, let's lift this up. Say, oh, how excellent the scripture says. That's it, church. Everybody here, everything. You have and we commit to. Church. We will. Oh, let me know if the base is too low or something. Come on, let's declare it. For your goodness and your glory, lift it up, church. For your goodness and your glory. For the joy. Somebody's testimony for the peace. For the peace you gave to me. For the day you set me free. Come on, the terror said. For your goodness and your glory. Hallelujah. For the joy inside your soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the peace you gave to me. For the peace. And for that very day you set me free. One more time, say, for your goodness and your glory. He's been good to somebody in here. Come on. Come on. Say, I do worship you.
got to love me like you do, Jesus, but you, you keep on doing it. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. More than anything else in this world. More than anything else in this world. My soul loves you, Jesus. Lord, Hands lifted. That's it. Let your love come out. Come on. Let your love out today. Let your love out for him. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. I love him.
hold I thought I couldn't take. If I got a witness, clap your hands and give it a blow. Do me a favor, we haven't done this in a long time, but we used to do it all the time. Take a minute and just give somebody a hug and welcome them to the house. Le in our direction. I can feel it in the atmosphere. When I gave the challenge on our anniversary of the vision for where we we're trying to go, our main focus is to draw you into an encounter with God. When people have an encounter with God, most of their problems yeah, just dissipate all by themselves. Band. What'd you say? So if you all they get is an encounter with church, band. Oh, thank if you. You have Scott. a problem with them the Scott rest of your life. Speak up. We pray. <laughs> but if you ever have an That's encounter with day, God, all right. it's amazing what it will do for you. God is the monitor you engineer you over there in the other room. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. I'm uh, I do want to mention this Tuesday, August the first, at one PM Central uh, Standard Time, I there's gonna it. be another compelling dialogue uh, on YouTube with Dr. A.R. Bernard and myself. Uh, yeah, it's... He's so brilliant, he made me look smart. Sorry, I, uh, I want you to check it out and, and be blessed by it as we consider uh, what it means to be a disruptor. To be a Christian is to be disruptive. It used to be that it was just fashionable. So what that, did I say, 147? That passed away. When I came up, it was fashionable to be a Christian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You had youth on yeah, the move for Christ. All these different movements were going on. It was fashionable. Movies were coming out like Left Behind. And people were talking about Jesus. And it was almost assumed that you Bro. were a Christian. Now, yeah, when you crazy. say you're a Christian, that's it. Uh, you're a novelty. You're an anomaly. Feel that in my shoulders. You're feel that disruptive. In my shoulders. They don't want you. You can be anything else. <laughs> I mean anything else. Don't make me run down through the list. You still an A flat? But if you name yes, the name sir. of the Lord, they just cannot. Can I get a witness? We got diversity, equity, and inclusion for everybody but us. <laughs> you are black ball. But that's all right. The Bible is being fulfilled. The Bible is being fulfilled. I was scrolling through Instagram and I ran on a, up on a 
discussion, I don't normally fool with them, cause, and if I do, I don't listen to the comments, because comments are depressing, because you can say good morning and somebody fight about it. <laughs> I mean, just people just angry. They don't even know what they're angry about. They were talking about why so many people are leaving the church, which A, millennials, they were saying we're leaving the church. A, that's inaccurate. It's old information. The reality is the latest test is millennials are rushing into the church. And they were they were coming up with all these hypotheses. Not one person mentioned that the Bible said in the last days many shall depart from the faith, look alive. giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. It was all I could do not to go in there and say some stuff. Say, keep your mouth out of this. I have to talk to myself, you know, to keep myself in check because I get out of line sometimes. But, but, also, but don't think it's strange that there is often a decline. And don't start blaming yourself because everybody that hears about Jesus doesn't want to follow him. All you can do is be a light sitting up on a hill that cannot be hid, that gives them an option to accept Jesus Christ for the remissions of your sins. But don't let anybody put you on a guilt trip and say, you're the reason. You the reason, you the reason. If you stood taller, if you was nicer, you walked around grinning all the time. If you walk around grinning all the time, they're going to think you, uh... Yeah, so what they're trying to do is find a way to make the church fit the culture. Okay, there's one group way over there just seeing how far out they can go and, and still be Christian. So they're running around half naked and half dressed and and just trying, trying to get in where they fit in. And then on the other extreme, you got these people, you can't chew gum, can't drink Coke, you know. <laughs> the church does have a little schizophrenia. But I didn't come over here because of the church. I came over here because of Jesus. Christ and him crucified. Come on here, somebody. Come on, talk to me, somebody. And as a pastor, the Lord challenged me. He said, make sure that they're not just coming to the church, but they are ultimately coming into a deeper encounter with me that heals and feels and strengthens and builds up and fortifies against these times that we're living in right now. These strange times, whether you believe in global warming or global cooling, all I know is that it was hotter this year. Lord, have mercy. It's hot, bro. And I, I coupled it with the scripture, the earth will burn with fervent heat, and the works therein shall be destroyed. At the time I learned that scripture, it was just as far removed as fireballs falling from heaven. I had no idea that we would be living in such a climate conundrum that it's hot all over the earth. Time. Used to be in Dallas in August, all the rich people went to cool places. They didn't have nowhere to go this year. <laughs> they had to sit right here with the poor folks and sweat and be fanning. It didn't go much further. I'm going to bring out them Mahalia Jackson fans our mamas used to have. I mean, y'all give they it up for be my fanning wife. like this. Hallelujah. It's crazy. Say amen, somebody. <laughs> Let's go, I want to take a moment and announce March the 21st streams. through the 23rd. <laughs> I want you to get it on your calendar. I want you to share it with your pastors. I want you to Shout share it with your wife, leaders. Melissa. If you're he a boss, I would definitely want you to write it down. You got a Working boss, you want to give it to them. We're going to have our national, international leadership summit right here in Dallas. In Thank you, Melissa. I love you, babe. What can you do? I said we're going to have it right here in Dallas. You a flat? Pastor Tubman, run out here for just a moment. I need to use you. I need to borrow your wrist for a minute, just for a minute. Just, just your wrist. Went like this. I can tell how 
healthy you are. By your pulse. And the reason I can tell how healthy you are by your pulse is because timing is everything. <laughs> the Bible said the men of Korah were able to discern the times. Our theme for this year's conference conference is timing is everything because if you don't know what time it is you will do the right thing at the are you hearing what I'm saying if 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 his timing wasn't right he could pass out if his timing wasn't right he could collapse if his timing wasn't right he could faint many of us are fainting because we have no sense of timing as to what we're trying to do. When do I start the business? When do I open up the company? When should I start the missionary? When should I buy the house? When should I build? When should I open up a home for unwed mothers? When? Timing is everything. When should I step back? When should I step back? When should I step forward? See, there was a time I was trying to step forward and it wasn't time yet. There was a time my church wasn't moving, it wasn't growing, it wasn't time yet. God has a set time and a season for every purpose up under heaven. And if you are a leader, it's not enough to be spiritual. Spiritual is just walking around talking in tongues and with your eyes rolled up in your head and, and you know, acting like you smell something in the room. No, no. Spiritual is to be able to discern what time it is in your life and to be at peace and to be at peace with what time it is Saul's problem when he was trying to kill David is that he wasn't at peace with what time it was in his life you never have to be jealous of anybody when you know what time it is in your own life come on somebody talk to me somebody there's a time to build, there's a time to plan, there's a time to be still, there's a time for love, there's a time for sight, there's a time for every purpose up under heaven. You cannot be a person of per let me stop. Let me I don't I don't I don't mean to go on a rampage about it, but timing is everything. So whether you're thinking about buying, building, growing, developing, marrying, uh, establishing a ministry, opening up two locations broadening your church timing is what we're going to be talking about at this year's leadership conference right here in Dallas right here in Dallas you don't have no excuse not to register you don't have no flight you don't have no hotel you go home and eat your own peanut butter and jelly sandwich and come on back amen and be a part of this conference so the information is on the screen telling you the dates again are March 21st through the 23rd. If you register now, you get the lowest, lowest, lowest price available. We, 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 we put it on sale for people who plan early. The later you are, the more we charge you because the harder we have to work to accommodate yeah, last, the last people. We start our plans early. Amen. So be early, early. Speak about early. I announced Good Soil last week, and many of you started registering for Good Soil. And some of you got it in the queue, but if you don't go ahead and move it past the queue and get it on over there, it's June 13th through the 15th, then you don't get advantage of the early bird savings. So, child, you better get out that queue. You better get out that queue. The devil is in the queue. Go ahead and cross on over where the table of the Lord is spreaded and the feast of the Lord is going on. I do believe God's going to bless our businesses. I do believe God's going to bless us to have increase. I do believe that we need to be strategizing for the future. I do believe that we're next in line for a blessing, but we got to be able to get the information we need because some of the stuff you're paying for, you don't have to pay for. Some of the money you're spending, you don't have to expend. And some of you, the wear and tear on your body is killing you. It's worth it to hire somebody so you can breathe. You're going to spend more in the emergency room. So so get out the queue and register now. Uh, seats are going really fast. We don't have as many seats for good soil as we do for ILS. So you need to, if you really are serious, 
you better get out that queue and go ahead. And if you haven't registered, put the information on the screen uh, so that they can see it again. And we're ex excited about it. I wanted to mention that to you and share that with you. June 13th through the 15th, uh, you got plenty. Why are you talking about it now? Because the early bird gets the worm. Right. And by the time we get to, to January, February, March, I hope to be completely filled to capacity. Amen. Support I want to take a moment and Prince. congratulate. He's not even in the room, I don't think. Pastor Vinchard Dobbins for the amazing and incredible job he has done. Let's take a minute and celebrate Pastor Vinchard Dobbins. He's working with our kids, with our young people. He's working them through the toughest age and the toughest period. And that camp thing he just did was absolutely incredible. And I'm so excited about it. Come on, one more time, give it up. He signs up for everything. He's in charge of everything. He runs back and forth. He's working over there and working over here, doing a funeral over here. He's poured himself out. And we're just so proud and so grateful for him. Uh, I'm going to spread some of that work out so that Christine Dobbins gets to spend more time with Vinchard being anointed for the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Right now in the firehouse, the youth ministry of both the Dallas and Polish House Fort Worth campus. Uh, no, no, I'm reading the wrong announcement. Uh, today, Destiny World and Firehouse are over in the ballroom in, in the Destiny on Fire Back to School Pep Rally. <laughs> I, I don't think you heard me. They're over there getting your kids fired up and prepped and ready to go back to school so that they have the right attitude and be on top of it. Glory to God. I wish all of you had brought your children because we're trying to help you raise your children. We're trying to give you support because I'm not sure that they're always getting support from the places they ought to get it. We're trying to give them support and book bags and everything else we can to help them to have everything they need, including a right attitude as they go back to school. Because we know you're out there working hard. We want to be partners with you in raising your children. So bring your children on out and be a part of these many, many things that are available to them. And I'm going to be honest with you, most people don't bring their kids till they're in trouble. I need to see the bishop. I need to see the bishop. They got him by the hand. He got handcuffs on him. He got a monitor on his ankle. Now you need to see the bishop. If you'd have brought him out early, you would need to see the bishop. Amen? So I want you to be involved with it. I'm going to stop fussing because I got guests in the house. Bishop Lawrence Hosley is in the house all the way from Portland, Oregon. Would you stand? We want to appreciate you and your wife. Stand. We want to honor you. We want to honor you all the way from Portland, Oregon. As a, I've been to Portland. Good to see you in the service of the Lord. I saw Pastor Maria Stafford is in the house. Would you stand? I want to acknowledge you. She's supposed to be in the house. Where are you? I don't see you. All right. All right. She was going to be at the house, and the house moved, and the dog died, and the cat <laughs> got sick, and, and the mice ran away. And, you should just amen. Maybe she'll be here in directly. Woo! Never in the history of this world have we seen God do the things he's doing in times like these. He's moving by his spirit, by his power. He's brought us through things they said we wouldn't get through. They said we were going into recession. Now they're having to recant the recession. They said there weren't going to be jobs. Now we're starting to see manufacturing jobs come up. They said we weren't going to make it, but look, look at what, come on, come on. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look what the Lord is doing. Look what the Lord is doing. Look what the Lord is doing. Some people said you wasn't going to make it, but you made it. Some people said you wasn't going, you got COVID and you still made it. Some of you still haven't got it like me. I, I locked the windows, the doors, the walls. I said, if COVID is not a burglar, it ain't getting me. It ain't getting me. I still haven't had it. And some of y'all had it two or three times. Could have been dead and gone, but God brought you through. To God be the glory for the things he's done. Come on. To God be the glory for the things he's done. Uh-oh. 
y'all ain't grateful. You're not grateful. I know what grateful looks like. I know what grateful looks like. Is there anybody grateful in this house right now? Grateful for your children making it? Grateful for you making it? Some of your parents got sick and they made it. Grateful, grateful, grateful for your mercy. Grateful for your children. Grateful because your mercy is a new enemy. He got new mercy. He got new mercy. old mercy. And God's got to us. When I wake up in the morning, two matches. One, one four. Oh, 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 like that when you honor God because of all that you have needed Get it. and everything you've needed One, four, and seven, everybody you needed God's hands has provided if he didn't give them to you they weren't good for you Three. Oh, One, four. Why are you trying to give God a praise for them? Oh, uh, my parents that are joining the service just want to give God a praise for them. Down on the one. You met Kelly Cornish Dash Water, but you never met the Dash. The dash is in the house this morning. Give it up for Pastor Slaughter in the house. We're grateful to see you in the service of the Lord. I was preaching up in Columbia, and he got so happy he ran up and kissed me. He, he said, I hope you didn't think I was crazy. No, I said, no, I'm cool. We had a good time in the service of the Lord. Come on, make him welcome. Done a great work, served the Lord, innovative, creative, done amazing things there in Columbia, and now he is uh, sitting beside her in the service of the Lord. We welcome all of our first-time visitors. First-time visitors, would you stand up? First-time visitors. First, oh my gosh, Whoa. look at first-time visitors. Oh my gosh, welcome. There's some in the balcony. Welcome, uh -oh. welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. We legit almost Welcome, cool. welcome. It's crazy. We're first time visitors. The Bible says, uh -oh. what shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. What shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? What can I give him for all that he's done for me? What it's shall I awesome. render unto the Lord for how he brought my children out of the hospital? What shall I render unto the Lord for the car wreck that didn't kill me? Yeah. What shall I render unto the Lord for the trials he brought me through? What shall I render unto the Lord? Because when I found my job, he opened up and lost my job. He opened up another job. What shall I render yes, unto sir. the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? Because when my spouse left me, they thought I was going to die, but I still made it. What shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits to us? What shall I render? I've been hated and I've made it. I've been lied on and I've made it. I've been rejected and I've made it. I've been ostracized and I've What shall I? What shall I? What shall I? What shall I? Two. Five. Other one. Whatever you want. Whatever. Here we go. Whatever you want. One, two, up, up, four. Let's go, JR. I'll do it. Ow! I'll do it. 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 Get it, son. I'll do it. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll go where you want me to go. That's how I pray. 
I tell them I do. I give him my opinion first, just in case it matters. And then I tell him, but whatever yes, you yes. want me to do, whatever you want me to do, because the way the transgressors are, they try. and I'm too old to get a woman. Whatever you want me to do. One. Yeah, on the one. I'll do it. I'll serve. I'll wash feet. Yes, sir. I'll clean tables. I'll get into prison ministry. I'll help with the IDD, whatever they're doing. I'll do it. If you need some help, I'll do it. I'll be a PMT. I'll be a greeter. Hallelujah. I'll help people park cars. I'll do it. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm losing you now. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. This is an opportunity in our service for us to personally, I want to emphasize personally, because we can sing for you, we can dance for you, we can preach to you, but we can't give for you. This is the only thing that's totally up to you. You're watching online, this is your opportunity to show your gratitude toward the kingdom. Oh, wait a minute, I said gratitude toward the kingdom, and God said, wait a minute, it's deeper than gratitude, it's obedience. It's obedience, it's obedience, it's obedience. You prayed and said, Lord, if you give me this job, I'll remember you. You said, Lord, if you open up this door, I'll remember you. Lord, if you just bless me with the house, I'll remember you. Lord, if you just make a way, I'll remember you. If you let me have this baby, I'll remember you. And now you've had the baby and now you're ready to give him back. <laughs> Come on, talk to me, somebody. I want you to worship the Lord and eat keep him. your vow. Lord, if my son just makes it through high school, Lord, if I did all of that stuff we said, and then when it comes an opportunity to show your gratitude, you look the other way and you wonder why you got holes in your pocket. Because <laughs> everybody pay tithes, they just don't pay them to God. Because when God puts holes in your pocket, you pay it to the doctor, you pay it to the ambulance, you pay it to the dinner, everybody pays it. You pay it to the mechanic. But let me tell you something, when you pay your tithes, God will keep your stuff from wearing out. Can I get a witness? It's not always that you get more money, but God will keep your stuff from running out. He'll keep it from wearing out. Can I get a witness? Some of y'all look all dressed up, they don't know what you got on, it's 12 years old. Yeah. Ah, but God will keep you. Y'all don't hear me. I said, God will keep you. I said, God will keep you. Yes, sir. Some of you 60 you. look like you're 40. Yes, Some of you 80 look like you're 55. I said, God One. will keep you. Eat, 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 eat. God will. Yes, sir. Yeah. The information is on the screen. I want to invite everybody to enter into a season of personal worship. Giving is not different from worship. Abraham came to the mountaintop and gave his son. And he said, we're going yonder to worship. Worship and giving are synonymous. It is not just what you say with your lips. For the Bible said, with your lips you draw nigh unto me, but your heart is far from me. In other words, you talk a good fight, but when it comes to sacrifice, I don't see anything on your altar. This is a chance for you to drag something to the altar and lay it up before God and watch God show you a ram in the bush. God's got something for you that your eyes have not seen. Your ears have not heard, neither has entered into your heart. Abraham didn't know when he walked up on the mountain that God had a ram for him. But as he gave what was in his hand, God gave what was in his hand. And God's got some stuff for you. Who am I talking to? Type it on the line. God's got some stuff for me. God's got some stuff for me that I never imagined possible. And as you prepare to honor him, the information is on the screen. The They're going to sing, and I'm going to come back and share the word of God. One, two, Hallelujah. three, four, and four. Open up your mouth and hear it so loud. Thank you. Every time you open your mouth, you can hear it
So we'll call the name of Jesus. 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 Everybody join us sing Jesus. 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 Oh, everybody call the name. Sweeter than the honey. And the honeycomb, call the name, Master, Savior, Deliverer, call the name, call the name, Holy, Holy is His name, there's power, power in His name, He outdoors in that heat with no shelter and I pray for those that are outside but I have to admit I'm grateful that I'm not and I pray that they have shelter but I'm grateful that I do and I pray that they have income and I'm thankful that I have and out of that abundance I sow, because I believe you've got more for me. My ram is tied in the thicket. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, it is not so much that we give to get, but we give because we have been given. We have received. And we refuse to worship you with our tongue and be a robber in our actions. No matter the excuse, I will not allow my excuses to become idolatry in my life. I will not worship my situation. I will worship the God of my situation. And as we lift this up before you, sure I can put it somewhere. Sure I can use it somewhere. But this belongs to you. And I'm trying to show you, you can trust me. And if you can trust me, you can give me that hidden thing that my eyes have not seen. 
And Lord, I want you to know I'm aware of you. I enter into covenant relationship with you. I have a contract with you. And I worship you in obedience to the contract you spelled out in your word. Now rebuke the devourer. Rebuke the devourer. That thing that comes in to eat up my resources has no legal right to come in and do it because I sought you first. You said, seek ye first the kingdom of God in his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto me. And Lord, I promise not to be ashamed of what you added unto me because I sought you first. Hallelujah. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm appreciative. Most importantly, I'm obedient. In Jesus' name, That's time. amen. Now you can pass it down to the left before because you've done your job. Keep going. Good catch, bro. Pass it all the way down to the left. PMTs, all y'all get it now. Y'all learn to wait on me. Serve the people of God. Oh, yeah. We're getting it together. Just when you got comfortable, just when you sat down and the cushion feels so Still good, staring. just when you got off your feet because you wore them cute shoes, but you knew they wasn't really church shoes. Huh? I'm going to ask you to stand just one <laughs> more time for the reading of the Word of God. I'm going to the third chapter of the book of Zechariah. Oh, no, I'm not going anywhere till I honor the first lady of this house. We love you, honey. They don't love you like I do, but they love you too. Dr. James tore this place up Wednesday night. Dr. James, I was on an assignment and I kept getting texts from everybody. She killing it. She killing it. She tearing it down. She doing I, just, I tried to log on to see if I had a building left. We love you and Brother James so much. Absolutely. It has been our highest joy, your service and your commitment to this church, his wisdom, his intellect, and his ability to be a liaison for us uh, with elected officials has opened up many doors for us. Uh, you are a power couple. The book of Zechariah, chapter 3, verse 1 through 7, I will be reading it out of the NIV when you have There's it, no say amen. The then he showed me, then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right side to accuse him. The Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem, rebuke you. Is not this a man? Is not this man a burning stick snatched from the fire? Remember that. Is not this man a burning stick snatched from the fire? Now Joshua was dressed in filthy clothes as he stood before the angel. And generally when you see the angel is some theophonic reference to God. The angel 